What is up, how's it going guys? How are you wonderful people doing today? Um, Wednesday today, middle of the week and I'm going diving. Awesome, but I'm not going to get too excited because the last two times it's been cancelled. So, yeah, I'm going to head down to the dive shop, need to pick up my gear and then wait around up Fremantle where the dive shop is um, for a couple of hours until the dive actually starts, so I've got to go and pick my equipment up and then just wait around. Um, but I've got the house completely to myself. Um, Ellen, who owns the house, she's away working, and Andre, who stays here as well, he's over in Sydney. So literally, I've got the whole place to myself. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm going to go wild, have a house park. No, not really. Um, so yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to... I think I'm even like going out on the weekend. I'm gonna go camping all weekend, so the house is gonna be completely empty. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's strange having this big house like all to myself, like just for a week. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take advantage of it. You know, it's I'm a hard to help person, but uh, yeah, tonight's gonna to be good. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna look looking forward to it and go diving, and it's awesome. The sun is shining and I'm going diving and that's what keeps me smiling. Get my breathing gas. Okay, so dives that um, ammo jetty where I came to on the last vlog, I'm pretty sure it was the last vlog anyway, um, when I went to the two beaches. Um, and yeah, it's the same place that I went to on uh, my advanced open water course. Um, so it'd be pretty cool to show. And the, the place that I showed you where the guy called the octopus anyway that place. So yeah, it's waiting here now, um, waiting for the others to turn up. I went and got myself a subway. Um, it's quick and easy, you know, I didn't really have time to cook uh, dinner, so I just grabbed something and then uh, yeah, loaded up all the gear and now I've come down here, so I'm just waiting for everyone else to turn up. Um, there's a couple of guys who haven't done a night dive before, so they've got to do it with an instructor. Um, but there's actually quite a lot of people here doing it. I was quite surprised. I, I thought it's going to be like not that many people, but there's quite a few. So it's going to be a good dive. Um, the only thing is the visibility down there is very poor, um, well, quite poor, um, especially with, with so many people. It's going to be quite bad. So uh, hopefully I can get some good footage, um, but we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Hopefully it come out okay, but you guys won't know by now anyway. Because uh, normally when it's really like um, poor visibility, you get backscatter with the lights, um, basically particles in the they show up in front of the lens instead of actually what you want to see. So yeah, hopefully it come out alright. Um, I was gonna look at it tonight, but it's late and I've still got. Um, I'm just gonna grab something to eat quickly. 
Um, so I've got to get a shower and washing my uh, equipment as well, get all the salt water off it. Um, so yeah, I don't really have time to do that. Um, well, I do, but obviously it's going to be late if I start messing around with that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, it's going to, like I said, just grab something to eat, hit the grab a shower and then head to bed. Um, so yeah, it was a, a good dive. It's always good being in the water and diving. Um, we was in there a little bit longer than we were supposed to be. We was in there for just over an hour and we were supposed to be in there for like 50 minutes. So, but no, it was, uh, it was good to use up like all my air that I'm supposed to use. And yeah, it was pretty cool. And the little sharks were pretty cool. Um, right in there eating their dinner. Um, more eel, octopus or octopi or octopuses or octopi I think. Um, what else? Some crabs. Um, more eel. Don't know if I said that already. Um, and I think by the more eel that I filmed, um, there was a couple of um, what are they called? Like lobster type things. I can't remember what they're called. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that was their tentacles. Um, they're, well, not their tentacles. They're like whisker type things off their head. Um, but I couldn't actually get an angle to film them. So yeah, it's pretty cool. The only thing is my torch, so I rented it from the dive shop and it kept turning off and going dim and turning them back on. And then, so that was really annoying. Um, and there's a guy there um, who is uh, in our buddy group. There's three of us in a group together. Um, who had a really, really bright torch and he kept shining it directly in my face. I like, seriously stopped shining that at me. Um, so yeah, it's like, because obviously, just like when you're outside, if you get this bright light in your eye, like, and you can't see in the dark. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but no, it's good. It's, it's always, I absolutely love diving. It's so cool. So, so cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sign off now, guys. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you next time.